Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. This is Enigma and you're watching I Enigma. We're going to do your January end read. That is between 25 to 31. Let's see the messages for you. Since this is general reading, so take what resonates and what does not resonate for more personals. I am available on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. I also do white previous spells and we have crystals which are energized with high vibrational frequencies. <clears throat> Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos on your sign. As sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, and Taurus. Let's see what's happening. Don't forget to like and comment at the end of this video. Okay. Taurus, okay, right. Revealing your true self, Amethyst. And Malachi, prosperity. And, okay. So what I'm seeing is that right now you've started to embrace your truest self. You're not afraid of showing the world who you are. And that's why your, um, you know, path is starting where you will be <clears throat> getting more prosperity. I feel like you've started the journey to get successful. I'm seeing you'll have a lot of happiness coming into your life, money coming into your life. And I'm also seeing that... Your intuition is guiding you right, okay? You've started to listen to your intuition a uh, higher power. You started to connect on a spiritual level as well. Where now you've understood what it is like to be, you know, living life for yourself. What it is like to love yourself and showing the world who you really are. And what you want is more important than what others <clears throat> want to want you to be. Right now, you'll feel extremely balanced and you feel independent. I feel like you you know that you have the ability to turn things around in your favor. You have that confidence inside of you these days. And then we have the star. You may need an amethyst right now, okay, to keep you, you know, intuitively charged we have four of swords we have there might be an aquarius taking a lot of interest okay <clears throat> and then we have justice all right you you might have a libra coming in <clears throat> aquarius coming in okay Wherever you are setting your mind on, you will find success over there. There's no hard and fast rule. It's just that you set your goal, you set your mind on to something and there's no way looking back. You will move towards major success, prosperity, recognition, freedom that you're looking for and the feeling of being independent and stable, <clears throat> the solid foundation being laid. Everything is going to come to you. If you just listen to your intuition and follow that path without any ifs or buts to your mind. Okay, so it is it is the right time for you to go after your wishes, go after your goals because you will be successful. And then we have heart to heart conversation starters and then we have the religious. You might attract someone that's completely different religion from you, background. There might be a huge age difference, but I feel like very soon you will be meeting this person. But I am seeing that you don't know why, but you're connecting with this person on a deeper level. The more you're talking to them, the more they're, <clears throat> um, you know, meeting you. You know, the more you guys are going to fall in love with each other. Initially, you'll be like, okay, there's no chance because we are different. But the way you guys are going to connect with each other on an emotional level, it's something that there's just, you can't ignore it. It's something that you guys just cannot hold yourself back from this person at all. There's going to be a huge uh, emotional connect with this person. You guys just can't separate yourself from them. It's just an eye-opening relationship. It's something that you always wanted, okay? So in the end of the day, you might find difficult to decide whether you want to go for it because it will be challenging. Maybe they are coming from a very different background, like one person is Indian, another one is Muslim, or, 
it could be a christian and muslim or indian or whatever it is it's just like there is something maybe the religion doesn't matter but maybe there's an age difference or there's something else going on which you think you cannot uh, have them okay and that will make you really very sad but the outcome is going to be good if you can face this the challenges are not going to be too long when you're actually getting this person in your life to be your life partner so it's not that bad as you will feel initially with them poverty is like you feel like you can't do anything about it some of you are already going through it concern okay imprisonment okay there's something happening someone is like going through uh, court related issues maybe that is why or someone is not approving of this connection maybe their father or there could be anything i feel that makes you feel like weak you don't know what to do in the situation and you're trapped because you have uh, no helping hand in working this connection out. So there will be a situation like this about to happen in your life with this person where you will be helpless and you don't know what to do with them, what to do with the situation. Okay, this is your dream person. Some of you want this person, some of you already know who this person is and you, your heart desires this person. You know what you will have a lot of options coming in so it is important that right now even if you are into this person it's important that you play, pay more attention to the other options because that will be a way to give you confidence and that will be a way to distract you for a while as well because if you're totally ingrained into this something that things cannot work out and i'm so emotionally connected to them they are connected to you you can give it some space and take a break from it because when you take a break from it and focus on other things you will definitely find peace and when you come back this person will be ready or the situation will be improved so it's not that bad as you feel or you will make the situation bad by overthinking things right now a spiritual guidance <clears throat> motivation is going to heal you okay we have the fool it's time for you to take a break have a vacation be all by yourself and enjoy life i feel like that's what the universe is saying just just ignore the thought for a moment just ignore everything that's negatively happening in your life or any challenges that you're facing it's time for you to just relax and do whatever you want to and and that too alone like it's time to just embrace yourself your life and fall in love with yourself so some of you might be thinking of taking a vacation going out having a journey this is a really good time for you to spend for yourself okay so yeah i'm seeing a leo or an aquarius might come in Okay, have faith in your dream. So whatever you want, as I told you initially, you will get success in it. There's no point of, you know, focusing too much on it. Nothing is yet set in stone, okay? So if you focus negative thoughts into a situation, it will turn out negative. So if you focus positive thoughts, it will turn out positive. It all depends upon what you expect, okay? So try to have faith that things are going to work out because in the end of the day, a win-win situation will take place. So it all depends upon your mindset as well. So keep your mind positive as much as you can. Some of you, there's a Libra around. And then we have Six of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Page of Wands. Your person might be having someone else as well. Maybe that's the reason why you are finding it difficult to be a part of their life. I feel like they're trying to get rid of someone <clears throat> maybe they were married to maybe they were in a commitment and they don't know how to close that chapter because that is toxic for them and because they are dealing with someone else in the background it makes you so hard to you know follow through and sometimes you feel like just 
walk in a way but you can't because you have actually had have your heart stuck on this person and they have on you but there's someone coming between you and them i feel there is a third party due to some reason this person is helpless and you too are and what you want to do is stick around but then a part of you is just tired and disappointed okay so the suggestion over here is that just to give it more time and patience because things will definitely start to uh, work out in your favor and whatever is coming between you and them is gonna like leave something like that is definitely gonna happen <clears throat> so for your own self-respect and for your own you know self-love it is important that you find balance you take care of yourself in such a way that you feel balanced your emotions shouldn't be all over the place you shouldn't feel drained it's time that you will be you know, bringing yourself back in action, working for yourself and let things be uh, moving their own course. OK, and you're not like uh, waiting on it. You don't want to like uh, invest your energy on it anymore. You're just doing your own thing. Seven of Swords. Someone is definitely coming between you and this person. Yeah. There's a moon as well. This could be a cancer coming between you and your person. And then we have the empress. Then we have the magician. And then we have the seven of cups. I feel like this person might be secretly dating elsewhere. Or might be secretly talking to someone else. I feel like this is happening. So I feel like this person behind your back is doing something naughty and nasty that you wouldn't approve of. Maybe you caught this person doing it and now you're not able to forgive them. So whatever may be the reason, I'm definitely seeing one thing is for sure that the emotions are from both the sides. They do connect with you on a deeper level like nobody else and you do connect with them. But there is a, you know, interference of the third person here. And we have, I wish things could have been different. Okay, just being near you is intoxicating. I'm becoming a better person. I feel like your person has been uh, asking for forgiveness for what they did. Or it's just that whatever is going on between you guys, you both are helpless. And they had no guts and no, uh, you know yeah they were not brave enough to fight this and so whenever they see you they think weak they f they feel insecure they feel like they they can't do anything in this and that makes them feel bad so they're trying to work things around in such a way that you guys do end up together so this person is also trying to bring you back in their life or to work things out between you guys so they're changing themselves. If this person has been having certain addictions, they are ready to change. That's what I feel. You can see this. Let there be closeness between you. So right now what it is required is to be giving each other more space. Because right now they want space. You want space. And this space is important for more closeness, for more understanding, for missing each other. I feel when you give each other space, you guys will definitely miss each other like anything. And that's when you will realize how badly you guys want to be with each other for the rest of your life. So, okay. Tom's please. All right, so we have a lot of cards coming out. Find balance. It's just continuously talking to me about you needing to be in balance and finding that peace of mind within you and not depending upon this person or anybody else for your mental peace and happiness. Seek the truth. You, you may definitely have found out some truth which makes you feel sad and unbalanced because we have the sadness as well. But right now, staying away from this person, having your own space will clear your mind and bring that stability back in your life to be back in love with this person. So right now, you may need more rest and relaxation because I'm seeing you both coming to each other, no matter what. And we have 
So there is a new beginning where you guys will have newfound love for each other and you guys will never leave each other again. Peace. So it's time that you focus on your peace of mind, your happiness, your personal space. That is the most important thing no matter how much this person means to you. Your personal space should be beyond that. See? You won't be shocked. <laughs> There's no need to be worried because in the end of the day, they will come back. If you guys are not talking to each other, which I feel you guys are not, you're wanting each other uh, to give each other space. <clears throat> and I feel like when you give each other space, this person, I feel already is starting to miss you and feeling like sleepless, not able to sleep, insomnia feeling weak and that makes them want you and this time when they come towards you there will be much more clarity and honesty in their actions and they will show you more love and respect and then we have the world and the patience so the universe is definitely conspiring you guys to bring you guys to each other and there will be a definite brand new beginning between you guys this person is changing i feel just have patience because they might be going through anxiety right now so they want to deal with things themselves they want to find balance before they can actually make a move and have this new all new chapter starting with you so there's a brand new chapter they will be starting with you okay Queen of Pentacles, it's time for you to focus on your money, your profession, your work, your business, whatever it is, because you will be doing good if you focus your intention there. I'm seeing major promotion, recognition, appreciation coming through. But first, you need to make efforts. You need to take action. If you just sit back and become uh, lazy and say no to everything, you might, you know, lose the opportunity to become successful or gain major projects or recognition or appreciation or appraisal or whatever you can expect of. Let's see the signs that are coming in. We have Leos. I've just done Leo read. Do not forget to check that out as well. We'll go. Sagittarius. So if this has resonated so far, don't forget to like and yeah what else i'm gonna do some charms and then we're gonna do all sign okay i've pulled so many so many of them i'll take all of these okay so i feel like this person's truth was out with this mask okay this person's truth was out and since that you've not been talking to them or just avoiding this person but they're still watching you and i feel like they will definitely do something to reach out to and uh convince you to be back yes there was a third party you need a you need an off you need a vacation i feel just like this you need a rock salt stone to keep you feeling good and release a negative energy around if you've been too much about uh watching videos and tv shows and you know you're scrolling youtube or you're doing other stuff okay it's time that you just take a vacation and relax and spend time for yourself so making a journey or going out to a different country traveling is going to be good for you yes this person is definitely changing and then i'm seeing you staying to your self-belief is something that makes you attractive. Oh my gosh. See the title of my channel. I've also written Rise and Shine. You are about to rise. You will rise beyond the ashes. You will be successful in whatever endeavor you choose. And then we have Secrets are out. Now you have opportunities to avail to become successful. Something about sister, a sister's relationship is the best. Okay. These could be the name letters of someone. Someone is in law. If you're confused about something, you will get answer real soon. So there's a new beginning here. Some of you are thinking of doing a business which is going to end up successful. So some of you are confused between should I do law, should I do business? So both are good. Nothing's bad here. Okay. So... 
we're going to see from Aries to Pisces. How does your person feel about you, Taurus? <clears throat> Aries is done. Over. It's over. Taurus is wanting to work things out, but they think that you don't want to, sh you don't want to talk, you don't want to listen, but they're taking it light. Gemini. Gemini is feeling alone. Okay. Alone, sad, depressed, but need some space right now before they can reach out to you. They're trying to figure out their mistakes. Cancer. Cancer is watching you a lot and wanting to make an effort towards you. Leo. Leo is seeing you as a dream come true. Want to marry you. Virgo. Virgo misses you a lot. There's a communication coming from the past. Okay. They want to be your partner. Life partner. Libra. Libra is struggling with their emotions. But they miss you. They're trying to control their desire. So they will be coming. Scorpio. Scorpio has a strong attraction towards you. They cannot live without you. Sagittarius is just obsessed with you. Or sometimes they feel like they're not at fault. You are at. Capricorn is feeling rejected. Or just bored. Aquarius is coming towards you aggressively. Wants you. And then you have Pisces. Wants to have a stable new beginning. They think that you're the one that they're... Um, they can think of a relationship with. So that's about it, Taurus. I hope you've enjoyed the read. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you again. Bye.